<laughs> you, bro, you the one who getting faster, bro. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my another video. In this video, I'm breaking down the social video content campaign that me and my friend Gaku did for the North Face. This campaign is mainly distributed for IG Reels and TikTok, so the content will be in vertical. Since this video is literally shot with two people, me and my friend Gaku, I hope this video will help some of you guys who are shooting in or with a small crew or getting an inspiration for shooting a natural environment and lights. Before we get into day one, a little story time. I forgot to add this in the A-roll, but while we're climbing up the mountain near Mount Fuji, uh, Gaku's car broke down? It's called Jaff, which is the uh, basically AAA in Japan. And the guy came out and took a look at it and said to radiate it. It's pretty much busted. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. And he had to send it back where he got it from to fix it, so RIP to the legend. However, instead of that, we got a rent car. But finding a rent car in holidays is hard as hell. And especially near Mount Fuji, just tip for you guys, near Mount Fuji, don't try to get a rent car because you cannot find one. It literally took us around maybe solid hour and a half just to find a rent car. But anyways, we managed to get a K-Van. After the car broke down, we finally got a K-Van. It's a victory for us. Yes. And I'm not gonna lie, K-Van is one of the cheapest cars that you can get in Japan and it was sick. K-Van was Sick. But yeah, back to the story. Day one, we went on top of this mountain near Mount Fuji, which I will gatekeep it because this place is super beautiful and not crowded at all. Unfortunately, this day we couldn't see Mount Fuji, but it kind of worked out because it was very foggy and it was creating this moody environment. So it came out pretty cool. First, I've laid down on the ground and turned my head to create a motion to the next scene. And with that motion, Gaku whipped the camera on the same direction that my head turned. Since for the next one, Gaku whipped in the same direction to the jacket. And after that, he has to whip again when I grab the jacket. So that took multiple and multiple times of try and error to get that perfect matching. But I think it came out pretty good. And especially if you're shooting transition with a lot of movements, I highly recommend to shoot at 24 or 30 frames per second. But my personal favorite i would like to shoot in 24 frames per second next we've changed the angle to get the shot of me wearing the jacket and this was heavily inspired by the north face circle loft jackets campaign there's a scene where a guy wearing the jacket and the transition to a lady pulling the jacket out of the camera and that's what i got inspiration from and for these type of shot when you're in an angle and your camera really don't understand where to focus i highly recommend to put in manual focus and the model or you know the subject has to stay in the same position and doing the same movement while the camera has to move in the same direction with the same distance as well. It sounds pretty hectic and it can be hectic, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. And for these type of shot, I don't really put the f-stop as fast. For most of the shot in this video, I use this lens that I'm using right now, which is 24mm f1.4 G Master. But especially this shot right here, I think we shot in f2.8 or f3 or 4 because we wanted to keep to focus on me. In terms of lighting, I wanted to have this shot to be very contrasty. So as you guys can see on the top right corner, there's a sunlight. So you guys can kind of tell where the sun is at, but I didn't shoot directly at the sun because that's too contrasty. And I think it will be hard for the viewers uh, to see what the heck is going on, you know, in the video. So I try myself to tilt myself just a little bit towards the sun, make it a little bit contrasty, but not overly contrasty. After the jacket scene, we filmed this part where I swing the point and shoot camera in front of the FX3 to create a draw masking transition. Then me using the point and shoots flash to transitions to the photos of me wearing the jackets. And for this, it's really simple. Gaku just stay still and put the manual focus on me. And I just swung or swang that point and shoot right in front of the FX3. And funny enough, the photos that you'll see in the video is actually shot on that point and shoot which is my girlfriend's Rico GR digital first edition and if you guys are looking for a professional point and shoot that can shoot raw with ccd sensor so it will process the light just like film Rico GR digital first edition highly recommend it's not that expensive too and shout out to my girlfriend for letting me using the camera and most of the photos she took it so Thank you so much. For this shot, it's very funny. I just use a tripod to create this fake Snorri Cam POV. Snorri Cam is this chest mount that you put it onto your chest and there's like a, I don't know, monopod that comes out of your chest to shoot POV over yourself. It's very expensive. For 400 bucks, you only can shoot that angle using the Snorri Cam gear. So I recreated by hanging the tripod between the belt and myself and I wrapped a lifting belt 
around my tripod so it will function just like a snorri cam and since this is a slow shutter shot i shot on 24 fps and shutter speed to 1 over 8 so it's very slow Welcome to day two. Day two, we shot in the city environment and for the city environment, we choose Shibuya because Shibuya is very chaotic. So many things are happening at once. We thought it would be great for run and gun type of filming. I'll explain this match cut reverse transition later in this video. So let me explain other scenes that we shot in the city first. First couple scenes are very simple. It's basically a bunch of close up and most of them were in slower shutter speed. First, the close up zipper scene is basically Gaku filming me zipping up the jacket really quickly super close and we move multiple time in the same directions <laughs> and in post-production I use a motion tracker to track my hand to make the motion very stabilized and other two are very simple it's just me holding the camera to shoot a selfie but in slow shutter and for the other slow shutter it's so funny we found this plum tree it's not cherry blossom it's a plum tree in middle of shibuya that has very beautiful deep pink flowers that were coming out of the branches so i just filmed a 1a slow shutter speed with the twist movement from the tree and it looked pretty cool and i love plum trees and cherry blossom especially this season for the next shot i'm not gonna lie it was very hard but what we did is i laced up the shoe and while i was lacing up the shoe at the same time gaku pulled the camera up close to the shoe so we can time when the shoe is laced and you can, when the camera is showing the north face logo it was very hard uh we try multiple times and even the post-production i have to time it within the editing timing on the music and stuff so it was very hard i think we did a great job on this and in terms of filmmaking, a lot of simple shots are one of the hardest shots that you can get. So I learned my lesson. It was very hard, but I think we did a great job of it. And I can't thank enough for the FX3's autofocus. And this is one of the reasons why I use Sony's camera because Sony's camera autofocus is always on point. Most of the time they never miss and especially this type of shot, you need camera to have great autofocus. You can do manually too, I think, but the fact that autofocus is so good that you can basically don't really have to think about focus it's super critical and especially when you're in multiple situation multiple time and your time is limited for shooting it's super important so thank you fx3 for having a fantastic autofocus and if you guys are looking for a great video camera i think sony is a Sony, Sony never betrayed us. Sony never betrayed us. Rest of the shots, we mostly did handheld and a lot of modern cameras and lenses have great stabilization to it. So most of the time, if you just need a quick shot or if you need quick movements, handhelds are great. Like this shot right here, me walking across the city with 300 mil lens. I mean, the stabilization is amazing. I also have to shout out to Gaku for having an amazing uh, handheld gimbal skills that he has. But still, the fact that a lot of shot and handheld can be this smooth is crazy. Especially, I hate post-production stabilization. I don't really like to use any stabilizing software for any type of shots. Just having active stabilization in camera is a game changer and a lifesaver. After this, we shot the slow motion scene where I step into the puddle and creating this massive splash and reversing it. I use a 24 to 105 f4 lens and my friend Khan helped me for this too, so shout out to him. But we basically manual focused the shoe and I have to step in the same position where we focused on. So we have to do multiple times. And especially for these type of shots, bring the f-stop to like 10 maybe, make the focus as broad as possible, but don't forget to have some parts are unfocused as well. Then you just have to keep do a lot of try and errors. And in post-production, I just bring down the speed all the way down to 20% since we shot in 120 frames per second. And then I reverse it. I think 120 frames per second is kind of overkill. But for these type of like water splashing scenes, I think it's very important and super useful. And if your camera has 120 frames per second option, I mean, sometimes you can spice it up and use it rather than 60 frames per second. It's very slow. Welcome to day three. Unfortunately, we couldn't film behind the scenes for day three because we needed three people to shoot this specific scenes and we had no one to help us with BTS. And also we were thinking so hard to make this shoot as successful as possible. So I didn't even think about the BTS. So sorry on that. But what we did is we set up a light at nighttime and we shot 120 frames per second with 90 mil macro G series from Sony. And after that, it was 
pretty simple. We just adjust the exposure and we made it very contrasty. So the background will be pretty dark and the viewer will only focus on the water and the splashing in the video itself. But yeah, other than that, it was very simple. We just splash water to the jacket and reverse it post-production. But yeah, this was the behind the scene of the video and massive shout out to all the people who helped us with this project. And please go check out Gaku's North Face video as well because that video was super sick. And I'll leave the IG links for all the people who helped us with this video. Without them, this video will not be made. And shout out to the North Face for pitching us this project. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you guys are curious of my other stuff please hit the subscribe button and check out my channel anyway guys my name is peace gates you guys already know peace out guys